Finding a pair of true wireless earbuds that are technically sound in every way can be tricky, but there's a new Technics flagship option on the horizon, one that brings with it some world's first tech. With over 55 years of hi-fi heritage and audio R&D, these high-res earbuds are called the Technics AZ80, and in this video, you're gonna find out everything you need to know, and if I miss anything, drop me a comment, I will reply, and I will try my very best to get it in in future videos. Being a flagship, these go on sale at launch for a flagship price of 299. The price point places the AZ80s amongst the top tier buds from Sennheiser, Sony, Bowers and Wilkins and Bose. But do they pose a threat? Keep watching and you'll see. The color options available are black and silver and these of course are the silver version and there are three different shades of silver. The lower portion of the case houses the USB-C charging port and an LED light indicator and it's a light silver that shimmers when the light hits it. The lid is similar but slightly darker and the top is a brushed metal finish with a gold Technics logo stamped into it. It looks classy but there's just one question, does it pass the cowboy pocket watch pocket test? When you pop the hood of the case, there's another LED indicator for pairing and battery status. And you'll notice the light gray color of the inside of the case matches the body of the earbuds. The size of the buds themselves are a little less petite than the Apple AirPods Pro 2. And that's because they have a huge base chamber. And when you have a bigger base chamber, that equals a bigger i let you guys finish that sentence. The shape and styling are quite similar to the Sennheiser Momentum and Bowers and Wilkins PI7, but under closer inspection, you'll notice it's clearly different and the AZ70s do have their own style. The caps are metallic, and if you look closely, there is a gold mesh over the external noise canceling mic, and there's another noise canceling mic which has a silver mesh on the edge. The capacitive touch area on the back of the earbuds have a radial reflective design and this is likely inspired by some of the old Technics amplifiers and possibly even the Technics record decks and back in the day I had the Technics 1210 Mark II and back then they were considered the best and I got a feeling maybe they still are. Anyway back to the buds there's some gold print on the top and the dark circle here next to the silicon tip is a wear detect sensor so it will know when you're wearing them and when you're not. And when you remove the silicon tip, you can see these earbuds are just built differently. And there's nothing wrong with being different. In fact, it's usually better than just copying everybody else because this is where innovation comes from. Inside Technic's innovative design, they have opted for a large 10 millimeter free edge aluminum drivers. And then there is the large acoustic chamber that I mentioned earlier. And there's a new harmonizer layer before the sound hits your ears. The buds themselves are weather sealed and they have an official IPX4 rating, which means a little bit of light rain, a little bit of sweat, and no sweat for these, the AZ80s. And the shape of the earbuds is described by Technics as a conscious shape, so it fits the inside of your ears and they sit very firmly, very comfortably. And I heard from a friend of mine who's all in on the Apple ecosystem, he said he actually prefers to wear these to the gym than the AirPods because they sit more securely than AirPods Pro. And what makes these earbuds different from many of the other ANC earbuds is the fact that they actually have four mics on each earbud. On each side, there is a feed forward, a feed back, a voice detection and a talk mic. These mics, of course, help with the active noise cancelling and they call it dual noise cancelling because two of the mics cancel noise from the inside, two from the outside. And of course they utilize for voice pickup and detection as well. So voice call quality through True Wireless Earbuds has never been as important as it is today because the world is more connected than ever and so many people now prefer not to be tethered to a desk. And this is probably why Technics has put so much effort into the mics and the connectivity options. Two of the mics on the AZ80 are MEMS mics. So they use VAD followed by AEC, then VCPF to make sure that they deliver clear voice calls. 
Now, if that went in one ear and out the other, I don't blame you because it took me several times to get this part of the video right. And just to make things simpler, Technics have given this process a name and it's called Just My Voice. And that kind of describes what it's trying to do. And when it comes to features like this, I do find it's better to do a little less talking and deliver a bit more action. So let's go straight into the mic test. Okay, so what you're hearing now is the voice call pickup with no background noise. It's quite late at night as well, so it's really quiet. How does it sound? Let me know. And now let's introduce some noise. Okay, so now there's some loud road noise coming from this phone to emulate possibly walking down a busy street. How does my voice sound? Let me know in the comments. And now let's turn it up another notch. So techniques say that the mics have been designed to be somewhat windproof. Let's test it out. So the fan is now at maximum power. It's going straight in my face. The road noise is still going in the background as well. How well is it picking out my voice with all this disruption going on around me? And that concludes the mic test. So true wireless earbuds, just like hoverboards, don't run on water. You need power. And these have a decent amount of power and can actually play with ANC on for up to 24 hours when combined with the reserve power in the case. But there are variables that can affect that battery life. For example, if you turn on LDAC on an Android device, this means you'll get three times faster bit rate, which equals better music. But this also reduced the power down to 16 hours maximum with the case. But for 24 bit, 192 kilohertz high res audio, sometimes that trade off is going to be worth it. And the Buds battery life standalone without the case is up to seven hours, and that is with ANC on, but that's using AAC codec. If you use LDAC in the same scenario, you'll get four and a half hours, which is still pretty decent. And when you're out of power, the AZ80s do support Qi wireless charging, and using that method, it will take around three and a half hours to fully charge and via a wire is three hours. But the AZ80s can receive power with speed and just 15 minutes of charge can give you up to 70 minutes of playback with ANC on. Now let's talk about active noise cancelling ANC. The reality is in videos like this, it's hard to convey the quality of the noise cancelling without very expensive equipment, which I don't have. But the other day I came up with a brilliant idea whilst I was hanging the clock over my toilet and I fell and hit my head. Okay, that didn't happen but I did come up with a really good idea. So here's my new approach to noise cancelling tests with earbuds. Okay, so this is how we're gonna do it. I've got the road noise blasting 100% from the iPhone right here, right in front of me, about 30 centimeters away from my face. I've got the ANC maxed out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly turn down the volume on the road noise to the point where I can't hear the road noise anymore. And that will give us a sort of benchmark for how good these are blocking out noise. And then I'll run exactly the same test with the Bowles and Wilkins, which is a very pricey pair of noise cancelling earbuds, and see how these compare. Okay, so let's go and count the clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, okay, so right now I can't hear the noise at all. That's 12 clicks down from the top. Let's see how the PI7s compare. Okay, so we're back to 100% volume here on the road noise. I've got ANC on. We're gonna put it on ANC auto so it can adapt on the fly and let's see how far we can go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and I can't hear the sound anymore. So I do believe that is a win for the AZ80s. So when you think about true wireless earbuds, including the AZ80s, one of the things that springs to mind, particularly for Apple fans, is the fact that maybe the AirPods would be the better option because they seamlessly switch between devices. Let's say you've got an iPhone, an iPad, and an iMac. There's something about the convenience that's really, really nice. Well, check out this world's first feature from Technics. The AZ80s have triple point pairing thanks to Bluetooth 5.3, and Technics have years and years of expertise when it comes to audio connectivity. So do you realize what this means? Even if you feel kind of trapped in Apple's walled garden when it comes to ANC earbuds, now you have the option of a fully fledged 
flagship ANC earbud that can switch between three devices just as seamlessly as the AirPods can. So you can be connected to everything, everywhere, all at once. And the AZ80s can pair with up to 10 devices in total. And if you're on Android, you can use the triple point pairing as well. And on top of that, you get LDAC, which gives you that 24 bit high res audio. Now let's run through the app and the controls very quickly. The home screen of the app shows the battery levels at a glance, and you've got quick access to noise cancelling here. So you can switch between noise cancelling on, off, and ambient modes. And the ambient mode does have two different settings. So you have attention, so that focuses on voice pass through, and then you have transparent that just kind of lets everything pass through. And then just below that where it says direct, that's the current EQ. When you go in here, you have eight EQs to choose from, and these are all preset by Technics. And then at the end, you have a custom EQ. It's a five band custom EQ, and you can only save one of these. And then below that, you have the Find My Headphones feature, which is fantastic. If you lose one of the earbuds out of the case, you can emit a sound from that earbud. If you lose the entire thing, including the case, you can then use Google Maps to track down the last known precise position of your earbuds. And then there's the Just My Voice test. So what this does is allow you to hear how your voice will sound on the other end. So it has a bit of an audio delay. Once you start talking, it will then play back how you sound, which can be helpful if you're not sure if the audio is gonna sound good. And then when you dive a little deeper into the settings, there's a whole bunch of things you can change, like the voice prompt language. You can even change it to just a notification sound instead of the voice. And if you scroll down, you have the auto power off section here. By default, they're always on, but you can set it to 5, 10, 30, and 60 minutes if you want. You can adjust the wear detect sensor. They call it the headphone fitting sensor. You've also got access to the connection mode, and this is probably the most important setting of them all if you're on Android, because here is where you can turn on and off LDAC, and you can switch it back to just SBC. And then you've got the multi-point pairing option, and you'll see here you can only use three-point multi-point pairing with LDAC off and that's because LDAC uses so much Bluetooth bandwidth. The settings to adjust the suppression of sound interruption and delays, and here is where you can customize the buttons. So they're pretty intuitive straight out of the box, but if you really wanna dive in here and change what some of the settings do, you can really get quite intricate with this. The hardest part really is just learning what you changed. <laughs> and then you can also have a different setup for telephone and general operations. And just like you can do from the home screen, you can adjust the ambient noise modes and settings. You can do pre-adjustment for the active noise canceling. So this is where you can adjust the level of noise canceling if it's a bit uncomfortable for you. And also you can change the level of background noise reduction. This is in regards to voice calls. And by default, the buzz will use your native AI, but if you wanna shift it to Alexa, you can do that. So we can still control and command AI. But let's hope we never have to delete it. So the Technics headphones app is good and it's very easy to use and it's very comprehensive. And it's a lot better than some other apps that I've tested in the past, but there are a few things that could be better, particularly when it comes to Android. For example, there is the EQ in two separate places on the home screen. I'm sure Technics could sacrifice one of those spots for a high-res audio toggle. Quick access to the LDAC feature would be great on Android. And also the ambient noise control is on the home screen in two separate places. Another good addition to the home screen could be the option to manage your multi-point pairing. Since you can connect three devices, it would be good to know what devices are connected with just one touch on the home screen. And there's just one more thing that bugs me a little bit about the Technics app that can be corrected later. There is an equalizer and I'm glad it's there, but it's just a five band equalizer. And when you consider the AZ80s do have a frequency response of 20 hertz to 40 kilohertz, it would be nice to have a bit more control and a few more slots to save your custom EQs. At this point, you only get one and you only get five bands. With that said, the app is easy to use and far better than a lot of others that I've tested in the past. And because it's all software, like I said before, Technics can make these improvements over time, and I'm sure they will. And the Buzz will also receive software updates via the app. So everything can be upgraded. And at this point, if you wouldn't mind upgrading my subscriber count, I would really, really appreciate it. It takes me ages to make these videos, and quite often I'm working late into the night like today. I've really got to find a way to simplify my video scripts. So just so you know, I don't have any fancy equipment to test the sound quality, and I don't pretend to be an audio engineer. I do, however, have many years of testing earbuds, 
and I tend to play it by ear, like what I did there. So what I always do with all my earbuds is first listen to the flat profile with a bunch of different popular genres. So that's what I did here. And the standout attributes with the Technics AZ80s for me, without any EQs, is the sound stage and the clarity. The sound stage feels very wide and the clarity is very crisp and clear and not sharp at all. Honestly, for the more mature styles of music, more old fashioned recordings, the direct sound profile, which is the flat profile, will be perfect. Although my personal opinion is for more traditional older recordings, the better EQ to use is the dynamic EQ. It just adds a bit of richness to the sound, a bit more depth, and these earbuds are very capable of delivering a really clean audio even when you amp certain aspects up. Now for younger styles of music, bass heavy music, the bass plus feature is very good and it would be my go-to if there wasn't a super bass plus, which is definitely my go-to. It makes everything sound so good. And the great thing about the super bass plus is it doesn't wash out the mids at all. But of course, this all changes when you start playing with the custom EQs. And I did spend some time to dial in a custom EQ specifically for lots of bass and very good clarity. And that's on screen right now. And if you do decide to buy these earbuds, definitely come back to this video and check out that EQ that I created. In my opinion, it sounds fantastic for dance, hip hop and modern pop. So the Technics AZ80s sound good to me. The price point is flagship, but these are flagship earbuds and there's no doubt about that. And if you're worried about the price tag, just remember this saying, today is the tomorrow that you worried about yesterday. So try to think of the Technics AZ80s as a good sound investment for the future. And on that note, Technics did just launch a new version of the AZ60s. They are the Mark II versions. And thanks to my friend Lucas from Media Look TV, we did manage to get an interview with one of the product leads on these earbuds. So keep an eye out for my video on that. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.